Okay, and our final question is, can you please tell us more about the Early Years Swim Start project? Yes, of course I can. Um, it's a relatively new project, this is, um, and uh, it's through engagement with local authorities and trusts. And this project is all about getting from babies to five-year-old in the water as soon as possible. Um, so that um, they've got a lot of water confidence from a very, very early age. And um, so when school swimming comes along or the opportunity when they're on holiday, not only are they confident in the water, but there's some level of competence as well. So that when they start their, you know, older year learn to swim lessons um, or want to go on to club swimming, that they've got that base level experience that helps them feel very confident because they know when they go in the water exactly what the you know what water safety is all about that they feel more confident when they're in the water and it is very very important to make sure that children understand water safety and water competence and make sure that um that uh they they're not so that they understand the basic rules of being safe around water. And that's really what this is um, very important for us, for them to recognize um, from a very early age. And also it's a perfect opportunity for mum to go swimming or dad to go swimming. And it can become a family um, activity as well. Um, and, and all the children can have fun from it. But at this moment in time, that project is specifically for naught to five years. And um, yeah, there's some exciting times ahead with this project and we're really looking forward to it. Um, and in regards to the safeguarding um, um, element of all this, well, because it's delivered through um, local authorities and trusts, then they have safeguarding teams within their own organisations that will be responsible um, for ensuring that safeguarding practices are in place. Um, swimming teachers um, are also required to attend safeguarding courses as well. So best practice around safeguarding and what to look out for, how to report a concern. But within that project is specifically would be managed by the local authorities or the trust if there were any safeguarding concerns. That sounds really exciting. Mm, yeah, yeah. There's nothing more enjoyable. I mean, it's, it's, it's designed to be fun. So that the babies um, and the, the, the children, well, any, anybody from naught to five, you know, there's toys and floats and um, little buckets and, and all sorts of things in the water. So it'd be a playtime that's fun. And it's the interaction and the social side of things with other children that getting. And rather than being, I don't know, in a park, you'll be in a swimming pool and you'll be learning a life skill as well. And it's supporting the mental health and well-being of the families as well oh. you know helping helping not only helping their children but also being able to speak to other mums or dads or or carers or anything like that it's it's going to be really important oh definitely swimming is a great activity um for mental health um it really is and because there's um very little sort of distance swimming going on in those sessions as you can imagine it's uh, sort of minute uh the just that talking to the other mums and watching how the other children are getting on and seeing your child progress is a great um stress and anxiety reliever as well and as i said earlier it's something that families can do together and get out and have some fun and it's not you know when it's pouring down with rain, you can be in a swimming pool in water set temperature and then you can have some, you know, some great fun. And as children get older, you know, pool parties are very attractive. Well, what you need to be able to do is to know um, all about water safety and to be able to swim normally. Um, so all of this helps to aid children getting um, to a, a standard of swimming that mum and dad when on holiday can sit on the beach and watch and know that their child understands the concepts of how to be safe around water and it's not only just um you know when you're in the water it's also understanding how to get out 
because if you don't know how to get out when you're in difficulty, then this part of the water safety um, teaches you all of that as well. You know, not, about not panicking about what to do in the event that you feel that you're in some distress, that you need some help. Um, what we don't want people to do is to go into a panic. We want them to remember what they've been taught, put that training into place, and also recognise what they need to do to get out of that water if help doesn't get to them, you know, when they do need to get out. So lots of vital stuff going on here. Um, and we're really, really excited about this project, I can assure you. <laughs> That's fantastic. Thank you so much. And that's the end of our Q&A. Thank you so much, Zita, for joining us. It has been an absolute pleasure to have you on our Q&A and having these discussions and learning more about what what you're doing at Swim Wales and what's available to people. What we will do is we'll put the link underneath all of these these Q and A's as well. So if anybody would like to find out anything, any further information, then just click on that link. But Zita, thank you so much for joining us. Well, you're more than welcome. I've really enjoyed it. Thank you. It's been an absolute pleasure. And I just hope that it does help people understand the importance of um, safeguarding practices um, and make sure it's not about having them, it's about embedding them. If you don't embed them, it's absolutely pointless. Um, and about having a pathway for development for people that are working in safeguarding so that every day is a learning day and they feel better equipped. Their toolbox is full, always room for more tools, but at least they can think, OK, what did I learn about this? What do I need to do? Um, and, and it gives everybody that little bit of confidence to think to themselves, I can do this, I can manage this, I know what I need to do. But thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Zita. And thank you very much, everybody, for watching. And I'll see you all next time.